We as humans have always wondered about the world surrounding us. We have been looking for answers about life origins for centuries, walking into nature, observing animals and plants, and learning how these species interact among them and with the environment. But there are other worlds that escape our perception, that hold the key to the origins of life. In this glass of water, there are millions of creatures, millions of microbes growing, dying, and with a complex plot of interactions. These creatures are so small that until very recently, we didn't have the ability to see them as individuals. We only had a very superficial view of its ecosystem, like if we were observing the forest from the sky and only observing the, the canopy. The technique that will allow us to see inside the forest of microbial ecology and evolution that will help us to understand where do we come from is single-cell genomics. Single-cell genomics is, is a new methodology of understanding what organisms are capable of. Microscopic organisms that you can't see with your bare eye. Uh, we can now uh, use new methods to look at the genetic blueprint, basically the map of what the organism is capable of doing, of even individual small cells. We now know by using this uh, DNA studies that most diversity hides into the microbial world. And so having uh, this information is essential to explore how life evolved on the planet. And so we all have different questions, but previously we have not been able to address those questions because we haven't had the methodology. Uh, but this project centers around that methodology so we can meet, we can share ideas, and we can share methods. This is a group of scientists that put together their efforts to train students and bring them into the adventure of science. So and these are people that are in the, in the beginning of their scientific career. So within the ITN, they will get a lot of opportunities to get training, to follow workshops. And this can be very scientifically, but it also can be more about how, how do I present my message? How do I write a clear, a clear scientific report that everybody understands? And that's something that uh, more senior researchers, we never had a, a training program that's uh, integrated um, and uh, deals with all of the important non-scientific topics that, that they will need to be trained in. The ITNs um, provide a platform to implement that training and to know that it will be delivered in a coordinated and cohesive way across the, the three years of the PhD. I was expecting a very friendly, but at the same time, scientific network that I can uh, collaborate and share ideas. And it's not only the PI or the technicians, but it's only also uh, students that they are also working with each other. The first meeting was awesome. At the beginning, you still saw that it was like more like individuals. So nobody didn't really know the other one yet. And especially um, throughout the workshop with um, Gavin, we really um, grew together more as a group. We understood that we are picked very carefully by our supervisors and that finally we, we make a group out of nothing. You know, it was, it, was, it was a great experience. I think they're getting a much better kick off than most students do. Uh, because from the beginning they have a whole network of both uh, their peers, the other PhD students, but also all the other advisors and all the network that they have. But I chose this project because I was thinking um, that the people I will meet are more um, in the network that I later want to work in. Mm, you just feel that you are going on the best way toward your PhD and they feed you exactly what you need at the right time. And it's wonderful to see how these people with uh, these very, very bright young researchers are coming together with lots of different uh, abilities, lots of different expertises, and uh, all of their knowledge from diverse fields is being put together uh, to focus on one specific question. 